be perhaps in the car. I, I remember where it was at. Okay. Um, let's talk about, we talked about Snell's Law a couple days ago. Let's talk about the Lab 10E on lenses. And specifically, um, I want to highlight some similarities between images formed by different types of lenses and different types of mirrors. Um, it's almost like reverse because how convex kind of sprays it everywhere. Yep. And now it's convex uh, lenses kind of directed in one direction. Right. So if we've got a convex lens like so, and we've got rays coming in, They tend, and I won't, they, they bend it towards both ways, but they tend to converge to a point, which is what we saw with a concave mirror. Oops. Well, that's, that's troubling. Like so. Okay, so convex mirror, or lens, sorry, convex lens works like a concave mirror. We're going to see some even bigger similarities between these today in today's lab. What about a concave lens? What does that do to rays? And what, and what do the images look like? It does bounce it off, so if we draw out the rays, this is a diverging lens. What kind of a mirror does it make a, an image like, though? Like a convex mirror, right. So it does something similar to these, to a convex mirror. Um, but we still, you still should have seen images through that lens, except they were smaller uh, than the original, and they seemed, well, so they seemed farther away. Um, should have been inverted. Right. Um, so these two types of the lens and mirror here work very much like one another. Concave lens is very similar to a convex mirror, okay. and that was that was a lot of the main thing. Um, so, of these, which ones can make real images? The biconvex and the concave mirror. Right, and I yeah I should say this is technically a biconcave because you could have a flat. It could even be a convex concave if it curved like this. But for simplicity, we're going to use ones that are the same both sides. These can make the real images because the light actually meets out here somewhere. So these can be focused onto a, both of these can be focused onto a screen somewhere. Whereas this one, if we put a screen out where the light is actually going, we're never going to get an image from either of these, but on the opposite side, where the light isn't actually meeting, we would get a virtual image. And we'll play around more with that on Tuesday when we uh, I'm back after Knowledge Bowl. We'll do some of the ray tracing. I've actually got a really neat demo for this too that I realized this morning. I had removed the, a burnt out bulb from two years ago, never replaced it. I still have the bulb, the burnt out bulb. Um, never replace it, so I'm going to try and redo those with the trip to Menards over the weekend, and then we'll have some really neat uh, demonstrations that show this really well, too. It's only been two years. Uh, today's lab is going to look more at the biconvex lenses, and it starts out a lot like the lab did for with mirrors when we're actually taking a measurement. So you'll grab a biconcave lens, we need to first test where the focal length is, just like with, just like with um, 
the concave mirrors, we want to focus the image of a distant object onto a screen, and the distance between the lens and that screen where it's focusing a distant object is the focal length because it's taking basically parallel rays that originate some someplace very, very far away, and it's focusing it down, and that's what we define as the focal point. For this one, um, the materials, the, the gear that we've got, work really well with a meter stick because we've got some lens holders here where you can put the lens and clip uh, the lens in this part and then the pointy bits here fit well over one of the wooden rulers not the plastic ones unfortunately so grab a wooden ruler and then you can slide this back and forth we've got um, some slide, some paper holders here with a ring that you can put paper in between and you can use whatever you like basically as uh, illuminate from behind as a, uh, a draw or a, as your object. I would suggest again grabbing one of these index cards uh, sketching something probably on the front and then illuminating it from behind with your phone. I've got some wax paper ones in here, but the phones are so bright that it makes it a little harder to see the actual image, and I think this would be easier. But you'll have an image here of your own design with a feature you can measure. Illuminate it from behind, move this, and on the other side of your lens, you need a second holder with your screen so that you can focus it in, and then measure the feature on that screen. But you can also use this pretty easily and quickly to measure the distance, the object distance between the lens and your object, and the image distance between your lens and wherever your image is formed, um, just like by moving that. And we're going to try it with several different mirror to, or lens to object distances and see where that makes our, uh, our image appear. Very similar to our uh, other mirror lab, and so we'll dim the lights and everything as we get going on that as well. I will come around during that time.